Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to introduce you to the work of Heather Galler. Heather Galler is an American artist who uses lots and lots of bright colors and patterns, thick black lines, and bold shapes in her work. Today we are going to be making a vase of flowers inspired by her art. We're going to be focusing on line, pattern, and bright colors. Let's go ahead and get started. For today's project, I have a worksheet for you to follow where you can add your own flair to the project or you can follow along with me. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my marker and I'm going to find a spot somewhere in the middle of my paper and I'm going to start with a circle. Once I make my first circle, I'm going to go ahead and make another Add another why not looks like a target doesn't really look like a flower just yet so now that I have a few concentric circles now I can start thinking about a pattern so maybe in this middle row I want to make just simple straight lines if I start doing straight lines in one area I'm gonna go all the way around doesn't have to just be lines. You could do polka dots, like in the book. We could also think about different types of lines. Straight lines, wavy lines, bumpy lines, dash lines, spiral lines, curvy lines. There are so many different types of lines that we can do for our Heather Galler inspired floral arrangements. Let's go ahead and add another flower. We're gonna do something called overlapping. If my one flower touches the other one, that's okay. I'm just gonna make it look like it goes behind my other flower. For this one, I think I'm gonna start with some bumpy lines. And if I hit that flower, I'm just gonna pretend that like it goes behind it. Let's go ahead and speed up this process. Boys and girls, I hope you have a great time doing this project. Really take your time coloring. You could think about adding a pattern in the background or on the table. Really make sure you're coloring in those peekaboos. No thick, thin and wimpy coloring, only thick and thirsty. You can use fluorescent colors, regular colors. You're allowed to use twistables for this project or you can use markers or even a combination of both. Just remember, no markers go over top of crayon. Always start with markers. All right, friends, can't wait to see your work. Have fun.